Uh, what is the difference between communism and socialism? Uh, well, it's like the difference between half killed and fully killed, right? So uh, socialism is when there's some fairly nominal private ownership. There may, in fact, even be corporations. And socialism and fascism have a lot in common that way. But socialism is when you are allowed to choose your own occupation. You are allowed to choose your own education and the products of your work, the, the fruits of your labor, you're allowed to keep some of them, but a good proportion of those products of your labor is taxed away and redistributed by the government, right? So it's sort of free range as opposed to fully enslaved, right? You, you're still enslaved. And in fact, you're, you know, you're enslaved more than the actual slaves were from a purely economic sense, because slaves got to keep 60, 70 uh, percent or 80% in places of their productivity. Now, they weren't free to leave, so I'm, I'm not talking about labor mobility, but just in terms of taxation, they were taxed at you know, 10, 20, 30%. And so if you're taxed higher than that, you're taxed more than a slave, but you are a, you're a free-range slave, right? Free-range tax livestock, as I've characterized it, and you should watch the story of your enslavement. You need to be logged into, watch it on YouTube and be over 18, because apparently it's just too too traumatic for children to see that kind of stuff, but you can find it on BitChute and other places uh, more easily. But um, so yeah, you're free range in, in socialism. Now in communism, uh, everything, everything is controlled. You are told where to go to school, you were told what to study, uh, you were told where to work, and um, you basically keep just a little bit of a pittance for personal uh, use items and so on, right? They, they socialize the means of production, not uh, the toothbrush, your toothbrush, and so on. So um, socialism is sort of free-range tax livestock, and, and communism is, is basically full-on economic slavery.